All right, everyone. Thanks for sticking around. Only ten people left at that time. Possibly a, uh, a record for num for the least amount of attrition. So, someone was asking briefly a minute ago who the best player at the store might be. I don't think it's possible to uh, select one person as the best. It's very subjective. But one of our most experienced players is, in fact, Max Turner. He is the player... On your left, as most importantly, we are joined now by Brett Rose. How are you folks doing? Brett, glad you can make it. Uh, talking earlier, not able to make the tournament, but able to make it after the fact. So always good to have you here. More importantly, for all of those on the uh, stream, now don't have to hit listen to me talk to myself. Well, this, uh, that was probably entertaining for a while. Uh, a lot of people in the chat during that period said I was doing a good job, which uh, is... Uh, I appreciate, don't necessarily expect anyone, and don't necessarily think I was doing a do jo good job. At least once a week someone says something to the effect of, I'm better than the Pro Tour coverage. That is fundamentally incorrect, but uh, we appreciate, um, we appreciate everyone's uh, patronage and support. Uh, actually, Brett, earlier today someone uh, talked about how they could uh, mind if uh, they said, are we interested in taking donations? Mm. Uh, so uh, that's interesting. That's not something I'm necessarily pushing. That, that would actually be pretty cool. Now, it would help to offset some of the costs. That's obviously not what we're doing this for, but it is fun. So uh, we, again, I don't know if I talk. I just brought that up. This is more of like an interesting tidbit. I don't want to push the uh, yeah. push that. But anyway, back to the match here. We are currently Friday Night Magic from Lost Legion Games and Comics in beautiful downtown South Charleston, West Virginia. Uh, this is round four of our five-round standard F and M. Uh, what are we talking about? Uh, set the background to just the absolute color that you can see for your phone or the iPod there. Oh, I think they inadvertently did that. Oh, I can see it, and I will be keeping score okay. up above <laughs> here. Uh, it didn't start like that. Sometimes they accidentally, accidentally do that. Uh, oh, so we are, like I said, round four. We have two three and O competitors here. These are your, uh, yeah, some, someone was talking about, he just showed him his hands. Uh, it was kind of a friendly mall again. Yeah. yeah, they know what each other are playing. They were playtesting before the uh, tournament starts. So Max Turner on the left, playing green-white humans, uh, as we see a mayor of Arrowbrook come down on turn two. On the right, Joseph Deal playing Rakdos deck wins. Basically all the good red cards and the black cards you need to back it up. What uh, what black does he put in there? Assumably ultimate price. No, I don't think he's playing that. I think he's playing uh, uh, bump in the night. Oh, well, I guess that does get some damage in. Mm -hmm. Is that a champion? Champion of Lampholt, uh, which can get out of. For those of you who aren't familiar with it, can get out of control very quickly. Uh, I'm going to be up against it here, trying to keep track of all the life totals in this uh -huh. battle of two very aggressive decks. Once again, we thank everyone for checking us out. Pretty good numbers for the uh, beginning of a round. As Joseph participates in the free candy I brought for this Halloween-themed FNM. We'll get into more of that a little bit later if you're just joining us. But one Skittle, I mean Strong Kirk Noble, is up to 2-2. Two, two. There's free candy. There's free candy. Uh, which kind do you what? want? Uh, Reese's Pieces would be uh, awesome. We don't have Reese's Pieces. We do have Reese's Cups. I will advise to try to open them down here. Oh, you. you remember the week that you opened packs on camera? Mm -hmm. uh, very loud on the microphone, it turned out. I didn't realize it uh, either until after the fact. But more importantly, back to the game here. We see a uh, another champion of Lampolt come down. And we see a Rancor. Searing Spear takes out the Mare. And Joseph drops down to 15. So champion of Lampolt, I'm going to bring it up here for those of you who aren't familiar with it. Basically, uh, gets out of control pretty quick, makes things unblockable. I was playing a guy that had those in the um, the Bond Wolf. Uh huh. Um, wolf your Silverheart? Yeah, and he would put them together, and it, it just got stupid fast. Oh, we see Falcon Wrath Aristocrat, so he's also playing that. That's a black splash there. Uh, he did take two off the untapped Blood Crypt. This game is going to be over, this match is going to be over very quickly, so we're going to probably have to go out and find <laughs> another match, I'll tell you that. 
Um, so we see a fiend hunter take out the aristocrat. And for those of you, I only had it up briefly, but the champion of lamb holds uh, creatures with power less than it can't block. Um, but it's not just the champion, they can't block, period. So uh, basically, it just makes all of your creatures unblockable. So uh, Joseph has a 3 3. Three three strong curve noble. He has a knight of infamy, so he's also playing knight of infamy. Seems like an interesting choice. Not sure how I feel about that card particularly. What does he have himself down to nine? Uh, oh, I guess that's swinging. Oh no, he he is down at six. I just missed it. Six. I just missed it because I'm bad at what I do. <laughs> So, gets in for four there, now with exalt, Exalted on the Strong Kirk Devil. Pillar of Flame on the champion, Azorius Charm virtually counters it, and I believe, uh, I believe he's dead now, isn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. Yeah, he blocked one. He, he, he was, no, he couldn't. He, he was dead no matter what. Yeah. Champion of Lambholt, heck of a magic card. It's like the old, um, uh, what was it, the r and where no one would ever remember that it couldn't be blocked by anything that was smaller than it. Yes. Uh, it is one of those cards that seems very innocuous, and when someone plays it against you, you think, oh great, I'm playing against this casual deck. And then two humans later, none of your creatures can block, and uh, if you're not... I mean, Max's deck folds up to... Uh, we just saw Jordan Peck Joe's Esper control list that can go up to seven sweepers in games two and three. Uh, Max's deck struggles against that that kind of deck, but in in this uh, aggro build, because Max is clearly going to bring in place of centaur healers. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't I don't think he's playing Thrag Tusk, but he might go that option on the sideboard. Um, someone's giving you props for Arnarlet in the uh, chat there. So. Right. Yep, a very strong choice in Rise of Eldrazi Limited. Do you remember uh, Zach Viglianco's uh, Umbra deck? I do. That was so much fun. Local local fan favorite, Zach Viglianco. Someone, he's the guy at every store who plays the pool deck. He is, I actually brought him up in the first round, or no, the second round, because we saw a door to nothingness combo deck. Awesome. Uh, was that mono green? No, it was blue white playing lanterns for the fixing. Oh, yeah. It also had that, uh, what's that card, Elocutioner, is the, the one where you get five counters? You, yeah, he's playing that alternate win too, so he's mono <laughs> alternate win conditions. But that's very much a Zach Bilyanko deck. Yeah. I was, I was extolling it, I was uh, telling everyone about how Zach was the uh, Battle of Wits player in our store. He actually won a couple of rounds with that. Yeah. Uh, Zach doesn't come to the store. Players like that don't come to the store to take it down, so to speak. They're mostly there to have fun, and have fun they do. Yeah. Because so, he just has a blast. He does time. have a good blast. Uh, for uh, everyone who hasn't been watching, if you're just joining us, this is Halloween-themed Friday Night Magic. Uh, unfortunately, the majority of players who have been on the feature uh, camera have decided not to participate in the costume wearing. Well, Joseph's playing, or, um, dressed up as a person with no soul. <laughs> oh, a rough ginger. Uh, is it a South Park callback, I believe? He actually does have, uh, he has a Raggedy Ann, uh, Raggedy Andy costume. <laughs> a ma no, I'm serious. He told me earlier, it's just like a, it's just a hat or a uh, mask. He said he brought that so that he can show people that it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> because he comes up as Raggedy Andy every day he comes in the store. Oh. More importantly, well, it's a, it's a self-deprecating burn. That's like what we like to see out of, uh, I mean, for goodness sakes, in round three, I wore a shower cap. Round two, I dress up like a butterfly. You missed that. You're going to have to go back to the archives and watch. A butterfly? Just like everyone else, archives available on YouTube. So go check them out. Every round I'm wearing a different... Every round I've been wearing a different costume to keep in the Halloween spirit. You'll see this, this round's costume when we take a brief break. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. You, uh, you, you get all sorts of worked up over this, don't you? About what? The Halloween? Uh, I like Halloween a lot. Now, here's something that's very important for everyone listening. Uh, at my house, we give out full-sized candy bars. We get 100-plus kids every year, we give out full-sized candy bars. I'm going trick-or-treating hey, there. Take my nephew. If you're local and you want to know where to bring your 
your kids or your cousins or your nephews and nieces. Feel free. I like it. It's good. It's good for the kids. Yeah. They should have a good time. So, no skin off my teeth. So, uh, I missed a couple life, tri uh, life adjustments here as I continue to be obsessed with Halloween. This game is going to be over very, very, very quickly. Oh, that cat bird just got eaten by a double striker. Uh, it got eaten by Garrick, actually. Oh, I didn't see him come down. Yeah, he played him uh, beginning of this turn. Eats the Rakdos Cacular. Um, someone does something that shakes the entire room. Seeing Ash Zealot seems to be a little bit too little too late. So, see an activation from uh, McKay's that came down for three counters. Now making that a uh, equivalent six power Silver Blade Paladin. Uh, six power Lifelink. Uh, are they, is it already bonded? Because he can't bond it if it's already bonded. I don't know that he bonded it to anything when he came in. Okay. Yeah, because the only thing he had to bond was the... Um, the uh, Fiend Hunter, right? He may have chosen. He may have chosen not to do that. You're exactly right. That or the Mateus. Mm -hmm. Which neither one would make a real great choice. Mm -hmm. Life link seems solid. <laughs> As I've forgotten to put up the Twitter notification, I always do for what the matchup of the round is. I thought about doing that just now. Problem being, the game will be over before the tweet uh, actually posts. I think. Not sure what happened there. You went up to 17 there? Uh, life link from the... Yeah, but they were debating what the number was. I'm not sure that they knew. Uh, there's no way Joseph can come back from this. There's just too much power on the board. And uh, the life linking... The life linking now 10 power guy is going to just do a lot of work. And the mayor is going to pump them. And now it's just... The, it's what the kids would call the sick rub-ins, Brad. Yeah. Look what I can do. Good thing we did provide the Skittles as free life counter. So, for those of you uh, watching, do not go away. Oh, he is playing the uh, rubber ducky that I used for my last round's uh, costume. Where I was guy that came out of the shower. <laughs> So, congratulations on Max Turner. He moves to 4-0. He will likely be drawing into the top eight. We do have 31 runners tonight. I tried as hard as I could to get as many people out here today as I can. Some people, just a few no-shows, but most everyone came out. 31 people, which is almost, I don't know, 10 people more than last week. Yeah. Good results. If you are in the greater Charleston area, uh, definitely come down and check us out. So, I quickly put on the other accessories to my costume. I already warned people that the round four costume was the weakest of all the costumes. Really? Yeah. It's not uh, not something I'm impressed with. We will switch to the studio cam briefly. Mm, I'll switch to the studio cam briefly. Mm, detention. Oh! And I'm construction worker guy. I told people this one is the easiest one and the least uh, have gloves. That's 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 the, that's the three-piece ensemble that is. Uh, I also have clear, clear uh, safety glasses. That not nearly as exciting a costume because this is the kind of uh, materials I use for my actual day job. Uh, not that I work all the time, but I am a oil field employee, so I do have the appropriate safety gear. What I like about this is I can look at the, I can be looking at my laptop right now, but you can't tell because I'm <laughs> looking at the screen. Just broke the format, I think. So anyway, obviously, that round went down, pr got done pretty quickly. Congratulations to Max Turner. Uh, why don't we take a brief break? Do not leave. Give me like two minutes. I'll try to go find you another match. We'll come back. If I can't find another match, then we'll talk to Brett about something. We'll kill some time. We'll give away. A, we'll give away a foil promo restoration angel, or at least, or at least tell you how you can win that free promo restoration angel. So, like I said, don't go away. We'll try to go find you another feature match. Stick around. We'll be right back.
All right, everybody. It didn't take me long. Conveniently, uh, both times we've had uh, to swap out uh, feature matches on tonight's broadcast, the table directly adjacent to the feature match area has been moving into game three. So, replacing Max and Joseph, we now have game three of round four between, on the left, Michael Taylor, who you may remember if you've watched our stream before, he has been co-commentator in the past for basically a solid month there, I think. He's playing Golgari Zombies, uh, and on the right, once again, the infamous pimp chain and afro wig of pimp for the night, Joe Lewis, who is playing band control. So, looks like Joe got game two in this matchup, forcing game three. I am currently joined by an empty chair, but shortly I'll be joined by Max Turner, who we just saw defeat Joseph Deal in their round four matchup, moving to 4 now with his green-white humans deck. So, thanks those of you who stuck around. We appreciate it. And now on to the action. So, turn one and turn two Cacklers from the zombie deck off a of Swamp and uh, a Guildgate. Drop Joe to 16 quickly. He far seeks on his turn, meaning he's effectively at 12. A Gerald's Messenger or a Dreg Mangler will put him to 10. And the guild gate from uh, Michael. You see a rancor come down on one of the cacklers. That means he's going to pile in for six here, dropping Joe to ten. I see a luckless troll in his hand. Uh, this is one thing about these uh, Golgari Zombies decks. They do have to play these uh, guild gates. It doesn't look like Joe has a fourth land, which means uh, this game could be over <laughs> even before Max comes back. Uh, oh, the Tension Sphere. Great answer. Not sure what uh, Joe was thinking about there. But uh, that's the answer he needed there, taking out both Rakdos Cacklers. Appetite for Brain sideboard card comes down for, for Michael. So we see a Thrag Tusk. A couple turns behind over here. Yeah, I thought it was going to be over there, but Joe had a... Uh, Timely intentions here to take out two Rakdos Cacklers. Like I said, joined by Max Turner now in the yes, studio. Trying to see what the cards are. Thragtusk is what he picks with the Appetite. Uh, could not make out all of the other cards. I'm not sure what those white cards are. We will find out soon enough. Apologies for the glare there. That is the one spot where we inev excuse me, inevitably always have glare. So I see a... Uh, Gerald's Messenger, which is likely going to be the play here. Uh, yep, Joe moves right to the life pad. No counter. So Joe's effective life, unless he comes up with an O-ring effect, is at six. Um, effectively at six here. No. And he is playing it, like I said. He is playing the Golgari Zombies build. He is not playing John. I played Michael Taylor uh, round two today. Yeah, he said that you you went crazy. Yep. And beat him very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, a human's deck is insane. Yeah, I think you struggle against like uh, like Jordan's deck, a like control deck, which you saw in round three. Um, but what, what is that card? Do you know what that is? Raptor. I don't know what either of those cards he just played are. Purify from the Grave, I believe, was the second card. What was the first card he played, you know? I have no clue. Um, I have no idea what that is. We're now joined by Jordan Peck, Jordan, did you win? I lost hard. So you're 3-1 now? Yes. 
Interesting. Uh, what did you play against? I went against Trent, who had Super Burn, uh -huh. and I was so dead because I had four board wipes, but I just didn't, uh, didn't have the time to play them. Uh, it was a long time. See Rock Spaceman to come down here. Well, we, well I missed an attack at Andrew. <coughs> Gerald Smith's in jail here. Yeah. He's pretty underplayed right now. So, you see a uh, Rancor come down on one of the messengers. Joe going to line up block. Now, he's going to gain two life here. Um, so he negates the one that gets three? He's going to take three, gain two life. Um, all damage happens yeah. at the same time, right? So he doesn't die. Our faith one of fives. Uh-huh. Uh, it still has to have four two then, isn't it? Uh, but it, it doesn't double strike or anything. It's a it's a five two. It's a three two base. No, oh, the calculator is. No 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 no. That's a messenger. Oh okay okay. I thought it was a calculator with a ring core on it. You thought wrong, Max Turner. No, I'm ignorant. And here I told people people been asking all night who the best player of the shop is. Not me. Well, I've been saying it's. Uh, I don't say who the best is, but I say you're the one who has the most uh, like high level experience. You play a lot of GPs new day. You're our SCG Invitational Qualifier Champion from last week. It's true. Everyone can go on YouTube and watch those five rounds in the top eight of coverage. More importantly, congratulations to Michael Taylor, who's called Gary Zombies deck, wins game three, and thus the round. Yay. Moving to three and one, possibly facing off against Jordan Peck, Joe. Uh-oh. Uh, that's, a, that's a tough one for you, Jordan. It's not, uh, I think it's a fair fight. You have Terminus. Yes, the deck has Terminus. That's actually what I built my deck around with zombies. So. Yep. As I, like before, rebuild my costume, those of you who are just joining us will not will be interested to know that uh, for Halloween theme, we've got some people dressed up tonight. I'm dressing up every round as a different costume. For those of you who have been watching Faithful the entire time, probably really tired of me saying the phrase for those of you just joining us. <laughs> but the problem is a lot of people factor in as I will switch back to studio cam. Everyone, yeah, everyone sit up and yep. get, get in a good form. Uh, I'll show it off. You don't want to... As we see, because we're not on camera. Right? I'm Zachary Evans. Uh, round four's costume, the weakest one all night, is a uh, construction worker guy, uh, joined by Max Turner, not participating, and the floating uh, abdomen of uh, Jordan Peccio, also not participating. So, what we've done, <laughs> what we've done tonight is we, pit, we, we push this event very hard. We've got 31 people. Last week we had, I don't know, 22, 23, yeah, something like that. that. Yeah. So we're up to 10. We still, we still have a few players from some neighboring shops just for the week. Forever. Uh, there are There is free candy tonight. There is me dressing up in some... Uh, some fantastic costumes. Well, no, not fantastic, but at least interesting. If you want more information on those, how can they get it, Max? Where could they go and possibly get some pictures of tonight's events? Facebook? Possibly on Facebook. I'm sure you probably tweeted them. Uh, I haven't or tweeted the will? pictures. I can. Maybe the one where I'm a Twinkie. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe the round five costume. Round round five to be determined. Or I'm not I'm not spoiling it yet. Twinkie can round uh, round six. Well, not round six, but the. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you can, over there. you can go back into the coverage on YouTube and Twitch and see your various yeah. costumes. So I always have to do this because I'm not very good <coughs> at graphics. But uh, so Zach sells magic, not just the name of the stream, but uh, our contact information on all forms of social media. So you go back to YouTube, you watch Max Turner win last Saturday's Star City Games Invitational Qualifier at Charcon Gaming Convention. Uh, congratulations, Max. Thank you. Everything we've ever recorded on YouTube. Uh, return, to, return to Ravnica Draft, where we also saw your uh, pick cam. Very interesting. Got a lot. Actually, got a lot of. We should do another draft because people really liked that. I mean, seriously, there was a lot more. Uh, right. I haven't seen that. People were more it. interested in the draft video than uh, than than the standard ones. It just kind of because people like to get advice. Right. It's, it's a, it, 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 not that we. Claim I'm sure to be, that I was drafted awfully. Not there. that we claim to be good, but. Uh, uh, but anyway, is going down. Yeah. I agree. Twitter. You go on Twitter. Like I said, we just posted in round three the giveaway for this week. If you want to win your own play set of rock, paper, scissors cards like we use to start all of our feature matches, just go on to Twitter, look for the tweet that says something to the effect of, it's giveaway time. Yay. Re follow me, retweet it. You'll be in for a chance to win next week when we draw. More importantly, Facebook. Facebook is something I never used before I started this stream. <laughs> now you're a now I'm slut. on there all the time. Uh, it's very interesting. It's actually very fun to communicate with people. We're starting to get Facebook likes and friend requests from people that I had no idea who they are. Uh, there's a girl from France last week. There's a guy who lives in New Mexico via Alaska. There's a lot of interesting people that uh, we don't necessarily. You need to uh, give me some of your handouts because I'm shipping a bunch uh, of eBay stuff tomorrow. So yeah, we don't. I don't have any. I can there. get those for you later. But more importantly, we put Facebook. 
pictures up. Okay, we put uh, we put highlight videos up every week. Whatever the coolest thing was from the week. Usually that's Max, but uh, this week it's not you. Unless there's something cool that happens later. We've already got a winner. Nah, I'm uh, not doing any cool stuff. But so if you want to see pictures of this event, what other people are dressed up as, what the shop looks like, uh, all six of my costumes in a in a pictorial photo shoot. Go to facebook.com slash zacksellsmagic. Like us, share it with your friends, uh, follow the discussion stuff friends. there. Yeah, you can contact uh, stream celebrities like Max Turner, Jordan Pecchio, the legend that is Adam Vickers. <laughs> you don't know who Adam Vickers is? Then you, you my friend, do you need to go feed back. feed filled with musicians you've never heard of and may or may not care about? Mm -hmm. Like Adam Vickers. Yep. Do it right now. To broaden your horizons. Mm -hmm. Or if you want Jordan Pecchio to spam you with videos by the Spinto Band, then, uh, then, then friends well, you as well. Not on Facebook, MySpace. Um, bring it back. <laughs> bring it back to us. And finally, uh, and I'll take this off here. But if you want to go to the, if you want to go to, if you're if you're watching the stream right now, it's at twitch.tv slash Axel's Magic. If you could follow us on there, it's really important. It helps us uh, increase our numbers, get our exposure out there. Also, they'll send you an email anytime our stream goes live, which is a service that I use for the Twitch streams that I follow. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, though, that's very important. So come and check us out on a live stream, not just after the fact. Have you been on Star City recently? Uh, just their general web page? Mm -hmm. uh, I have not been there today as I have been traveling for work. Have you been forcibly redirected to MySpace yet for a minute? No. Because it does that now. Oh, yeah. You're like, it's click BioWest. It's like, go to Facebook. It's awesome and new. You're like, skip this. And it makes you, then you have to skip it to go to the Star City West. Games uh, website forcing you to go to Facebook? Yeah, MySpace. 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 Is that like somebody hacked them or something? No, it's just like an ad. Like they're supported. MySpace, MySpace. is coming back, everybody. My 2012. 2013. You heard it here first from a floating torso, Max Turner, and a construction worker. Uh, it's we're like a half-ass village people in here. We got Asian guy. We got Max. I'm we got Asian construction guy. worker. You're, you're the Asian guy. Uh, Jordan is just the right barber. Here. You're the barber's of chance. I'm the, I, What's on your shirt today? Is that the... Uh, this is a reference. Well, actually... Futurama? No, but I was going to say you could uh, do a question and give away something. I don't know if you want to do uh, candy? Okay, fine. Well, Simpsons. Oh, that's where he dumps the toxic waste from the light. Yes. Right? From yeah, Simpsons, okay. the movie? On um, the show. It's classic Simpsons. Classic Simpsons. Okay, we got ten minutes to burn here. I'm trying to think of other things that are important to mention. Halloween. Medina is harsh on himself. Mm-hmm. Well, there's some there's some discussion in the uh, one of our faithful viewers is one of my former college dorm mates who is also the editor of LegitMTG.com. Again, okay. another inadvertent. I, you're just a, we're, we're going to need to get a cut of some proceeds here. So the zero dollars that you're earning for <laughs> or at that. least a forcible read, you know, a force to Facebook. I'll okay. write you. I'll write you an article about how we stream from a broom closet. That should be an interesting read for no one other than people who are already here. But no, but I was saying on Facebook, it's very interesting now. Like you talk about the technology, and I know those of you who want to watch magic fights and, and uh, imaginary wizard fights, and could care less about our discussions. But I don't know. I bring all discussions this. Make I buy all this equipment. I bring it in here. I want to. I want to have my own little yeah, talk show. Yeah. So, but basically, like, um, it's just amazing to me that we can have this idea. To Jordan, you were the inspiration. You started doing the uh, after the fact commentary on videos you filmed with your phone, and that uh, was the motivation I needed to get off my ass and realize my I had always wanted to do stream, but I didn't think it'd be possible or whatever. But when Jordan showed me that it was fairly easy to do, you know, just videos in general. You know, bought the webcam, got my laptop in here. You just plug it in and go. All history. Xsplit to do the streaming. Go to Twitch TV to do your uh, to be your host. It's so easy. And, and then we do this. And now what's interesting to me is I enjoy doing this. Uh, I don't think I'm good at it by any means. I don't think the stream is necessarily amazing by any no, means. It's fantastic. It's something fun, mostly for the local community. But we do appreciate you guys who are out there in the ethos watching how many, us. How many people do we have right now? It's 75 right now. That's we, not bad. We're up to 110 tonight. We're not in West Virginia. Long. Yeah, we we had 140 a few weeks ago. I mean, you got <laughs> Look at where we're at. We have 75 people around the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at a minimum around the world, watching this. It's, but that's what I'm talking about. It's amazing. So, like, I, one of the things I really enjoy now is this, like, sub-marketing game where I try and, like, use Twitter and Facebook and everything just to, like, just to spread the word. Huh? Big lure? Lure by Well, it's not so much a lure as it is just a way of, like, it's fun to watch, like, we have the Facebook page. Somebody watches us from somewhere. They follow us on Facebook. I've seen guys that they show up on YouTube comments, and then I see them... Uh, like us on Facebook, and then they add me as a friend on Facebook. It's just funny to see how that spider webs out. So they, we've not asked for money at all. Although earlier, in the, a few rounds ago, someone asked if they would like if they could send a donation. We we'll have a Kickstarter at some point. I, I mean, <laughs> there's a movie. We're not. There's no, a no, movie. No, no. We, we got a movie. We got a three. We got a three novel. 
uh, and movie deal in the works. Um, I will be played by uh, I will paint your Anna Paquin. <laughs> I, I will paint your likeness for five dollars. Right. Here's another thing I haven't told people about, uh, and this is something that you guys can remember, but uh, and can confirm. But uh, every winter, it's not just a different time of the year. It's not just a different season. It's beard growing time. So I, I did not last year from the time I started growing my winter beard to the end, to the spring. I did not shave my beard. I'm doing the same thing again this Isn't year. Isn't the background of your Twitch the, your fantastic beard? Yeah, if you go to the Twitch uh, stream or you go to our Facebook stream, you can find me. To like the right middle. And that was like a month to go <laughs> with a month to go left in the beard growing. Uh, and this year, I started a month earlier. Oh my so God. we're going to have some that. epic beers. You're going to grow some canaries in there? Mm, yeah, it's nest. very thick. I enjoy it very you much. Can store dice. Most importantly, my lovely wife uh, does not object to it. So uh, if you want to see, over the course of many weeks, me turn into a uh, the king of the hobos, <laughs> then just uh, log on and follow us at twitch.com. Next, next What's no shape in It's coming up. I'm no shave. You're, you're no shave forever. I started August. Uh, I started at the end of September. <laughs> oh, no, I started at the beginning of September. No, I can't no, no. grow a beard. So. So no, when does it eventually become, I never shave ever, and now I love on the streets? Mm, I don't know. That might be a smart lateral career move for me at this point, so we'll see. I could be fun. from the street, could outside of Los Angeles. We talked about Facebook right now. Gentlemen, I'm going to type something here on our Facebook page. Uh, if I get distracted, which I always do, because it's very difficult to type a coherent thought while you also commentate magic. Um, I could see that. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to go right now and um, post this week's uh, giveaway for the Foil Promo Restoration Angel. Oh, that's this week's giveaway? Uh, well, we're also doing the um, rock, paper, rock scissors. paper scissors like we always do. That's <coughs> Twitter. That's Twitter. Follow us. Retweet the giveaway tweet on Twitter at Zexiles Magic. Next Friday, we'll draw for that. Next Friday, we'll draw for this. Um, just you'll talk. I have to tell you. So this is pretty fantastic, though. The fact that you can give cards away and have this kind of spread. Because, you, you know, just to, people would probably retweet your things or like your Facebook page or share stuff without this incentive. But the fact that even in our infancy we can provide this incentive is fantastic. Well, it's like, you know, you give us your viewership. We'll give you cards. Yeah. And as Magic players, you would give up a lot of things for cards. Uh, why not watch a stream and get yeah. them anyways? That's well, like profit, profit. That's like a 30 second tweet or a like or a friend request. It's going to cost you nothing and it might, you might get something out of it. Yeah, what, up, angel. what are you going to do? Mind placing Chef Wardy? You're not. You're going to do that no, then no, you're going to tweet. You go hit 1 minute 30 seconds start, go back, retweet, like us on Facebook, win a restoration angel, walk back stuff a minute after your, your macaroni and cheese. Yeah. That's, so. I mean that's just a winning all around. And you get terrible coverage from some of us, like myself, and it makes you think, I'm a better Magic player because I'm not that person, so... You can watch me play bad decks, girl, I got players. And it's done. Yeah! So, right now, on the Facebook page, facebook.com slash Zach Sells Magic. Um, go there, like the page. It's a two-part It's a two part giveaway. First, you have to like the page. It helps our numbers, because here's what happens. You like the page, it shows up in your timeline that you like the page. Maybe some of your friends play Magic, maybe they're interested, they just want to check it out. Uh, there's a certain casual appeal to this anyway. It's fun to just watch people mm -hmm. do stuff. I, I think the Magic probably doesn't appeal to the general populace, but maybe us sitting in the room uh, wearing safety glasses and a hard hat appeals to some people oh, yeah, in, in terms of uh, low-grade low comedy. <laughs> but so, step one, you like our page. Just like uh, Charlie, just like Charlie Sounders just did. <coughs> We're running out of we're running out of room a little bit. You can squeeze in if you'd like. Oh, okay. We're discussing a chop over there. So uh, looks like Max, you're drawing in with Trent Farr playing uh, mono red. Mm -hmm. More importantly, let's finish up here about the Restoration Angel. Like I said, not inconsequential in value. Thirteen to fifteen dollars. Oh, that's a great trade card. So what you do, you go to our page. You like the page. Help spread the word. Then you find the giveaway uh, post, which says it's stream giveaway time. Pretty self-explanatory. If you can't master that skill. Maybe Fall Restoration Angel isn't something that you necessarily need. So, like I said, you like or comment on that post between now and next week's stream. We'll pick, from Twitter, we'll pick the winner for Rock, Paper, Scissors. From Facebook, we'll pick the winner from our Restoration Angel. Helps us out. Doesn't cost you a red cent. And we'll you send you free stuff. You can win both. You can win both. Win the only people not eligible are myself and people who have previously won uh, a prize. So oh, I'm still eligible there. Uh, you're, you're eligible to win the Restoration Angel if you've previously won Rock, Paper, Scissors. 
but yes. you can't win like all the Restoration Correct. Angels. Correct. Last week, the winner of the Restoration Angel was uh, uh, Sarah Burnett from the Beckley store. Awesome. So congratulations to her. Awesome. Jordan Pecchio, uh, in in store winner previously of our rock paper scissors cards. So congratulations Spare to him. Hands, spare fingers. Uh -huh. um, anything else you guys would like to discuss briefly? Uh, because I need to uh, get my next costume together. Yeah, we're gonna talk about game day tomorrow. We can talk about game day. You want to go to get your costume and we'll sit and it'll be the. Mm, yeah, uh, my costume is mostly in here though. Oh well, then never mind. Zach, <laughs> stop talking. And we'll forget about you for a minute. Game day. Yeah, are you it's coming about. tomorrow? I'm coming tomorrow. I'm gonna love it. I will yeah. go to the restroom then. You'll you'll feel free to to discuss. Oh, I'm 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 I don't ever turn my phone off. I'm a busy life. I just not answering see. that. Yeah. Well, I can't answer the phone while I'm on the stream. Uh, you get a full art with text promo just for showing up. Which yes. I'm not sure what it is. Do you know what it is? It's dry militant. Which that's fantastic. Yeah. That's a great card. It's like a, a dollar or a common anyway. Yeah. And it's just like two dollars. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. You're not just playing in standard. It's a continual use card. And you can every hold Maverick player is going to want four of them. Yeah. So you just go to F and or go to a game day, pick some up, trade them off with people. Yeah. And you've got a mat you can win if you get first place. It says champion. Yes. It's just champion. Not, not a big fan of the art, but somebody's going to want it. Exactly. I mean, if you're an Is It fan, mm -hmm. if you like uh, hipsters on your mats. Yeah, you oh, that's fantastic, Matt. What's the top eight foil? The top eight foil is a Crit One Horror. <laughs> well, it could be a better foil. Yes. It could <laughs> it's not a, not a monetary bomb, but you yeah. know, it's not an awful card, I guess. Somebody's going to want it. Yeah, exactly. And, I mean, well, you're paying five bucks anyways. You're going to win packs, too. Like, it's not like this is just the only card <coughs> base. No, I mean, you can get you get a promo just for showing up. Yeah. You go win a play mat and a foil. You take your foil, trade it off, you know, whatever. But, I mean, it's going to be fun. It's going to be cheap. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be a great day. And if you're in a location like ours, where the top, where the uh, turnout is so low, maybe you're instantly in the top eight. You instantly get we a that, We did that once. It was kind of cool. It was, um... We had the Black Sun Zenith, so... Well, there was also the Killing Waves. No, I wouldn't hear for that one. Yes. Black Sun Zenith game day, we all showed up, all got a Black Sun Zenith, <laughs> and we got four of each pair of members, there was eight of us. <laughs> so, so that's a fantastic game day. These are things to think about, I would say. But I figure we'll have at least 20 people, 25 people or more. It's going to be a, real, it's a popular format. Ravnica is very popular, it's yes. very fun, it draw a lot of people out. A lot of people want to play their guild-based decks or their homebrews. Which I love. I'm a fan of homebrews, and I hate net decks. Not not as a people playing them, but I hate right. to see just an oversaturation of net decks well, and no creativity. It's not, really, it's not really a lack of creativity anymore. It's just the fact that technology has sped things up so ridiculously fast. Yes. When the whole world is testing out 252 cards, that what you're going to find out what's best real quick. It's not this is slow, drawn out, oh my god, that card's good, you didn't know that. <laughs> Let you me send a letter to my friend. Yeah. Let me, <laughs> let me three-way you in a phone call, you know. <laughs> so, no, it just, it, it's not really a net decking, it's just everything just happens so fast now. It's it's known way too quickly, and it's just, it's going to be very self-explanatory. you like your seat back, sir? No. But that is fun. That's the first time I've ever done what everyone else always does. What? Sneak into the, to the show. Joy is now Zach Evans. Just 40 yeah. torso, now a man with a face. You own it. Uh, I'll tell you this, gentlemen, we are at uh, turn three of turns out there, so I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break here. Absolutely. Get, uh, get the, no, you can sit there. I'll have you press the buttons, and uh, we will be back shortly. Game five, the win in. A lot of three ones out there. Jordan, you're a three one. Let it, Max, I imagine you're going to be sitting on commentary as you are a 4-0. Yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so What's stay tuned. Luck? Stay tuned. Good luck to Jordan. Good luck to everyone. Good yes. luck to everyone. Good luck to everyone, but also good luck to Jordan. Yes. Three, three, Jordan. three terminuses in a row. Three terminus and a supreme. It's so done. click that little microphone and then click the thing that says Vickers. Yeah. Little microphone. Click this. Yep. And we're down. Oh, no, you can click it again. You click it again.